Hey guys, it's Ching here and today I'm going to show my final video vlog. So this is what the whole machine looks like. In the beginning, I'll push the first domino and it'll hit the second one acting like a chain reaction until it hits the marble sitting on the end. Then the marble will slide down a ramp and hit the first domino on the staircase. When the domino gets hit, it'll continue to act like a chain reaction hitting the domino on the following staircase until it hits another marble on the bottom. Hit, the marble will slide down another ramp that is steeper than the previous one so that it will have a higher speed as it rolls down. When it rolls to the end of the ramp, the marble will hit a fidget spinner and the fidget spinner will change the direction of the marble so that it goes down another ramp. Then the marble will hit a domino, again acting like a chain reaction, the last domino will hit a tennis ball sitting on the end so that it falls down the ramp. After that, the tennis ball will roll down another ramp and when it rolls to the end, it will fall and hit the board that changes its direction. And when it changes its direction, it will hit a long board that is used to hold a string that holds the cup of water and causing it to move its location. Finally, when the location of the board moves, the string that holds the cup will get loose, causing the cup to fall and pour water into another cup. And as a result, I have water in my cup to drink. So this is my energy graph which shows the changes in my gravitational potential energy, kinetic energy, and thermal energy. So in the three domino acts, the dominoes turn potential energy into kinetic energy and thermal energy. So when the marble and the ball falls down the ramp, it changes its direction from 90 degrees to 180 degrees. So this is the second marble rolling down the ramp and because I didn't want the marble to roll down too fast so that it misses the fidget spinner and I also didn't want too slow so that it doesn't have enough force to hit down the domino. So to fix this problem, I used a plastic board that has bumped as my material to increase the friction. One part where the object is experiencing area resistance is where the dominoes are falling. At first I only used two boards but I realized the air resistance was too strong and the dominoes will often change their direction. So in order to make the dominoes fall faster, I sticked a lot more boards together. 